Ohio State's win total is currently listed at 10 and a half. While we still have six or seven months until the first game is played, and win totals could definitely change depending on transfers and what happens, 10 and a half is, is a good number to go up for Ohio State, right? So I want to talk about Will Howard. I want to talk about the impact he can have on this win total. Does does he need to have a a big impact for them to hit this win total, right? That, that means you can only win or only lose one game, right? When you have a win total of 10 and a half, you can only lose one game or none to to hit that. So if you lose two games, you go under, right? So is Will Howard worth a win? What games do you need him to 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 step up in, right? Does he need to be worth an additional win for them to hit this total? And I think he does. I, I think the answer is yes. I think the schedule, while favorable, is still pretty tough and pretty challenging, especially if some of these teams that you play improve and get better and better. Now, I think they'll be the favorite in every game, and I think – um, if, if, if you had to bet, maybe it's safer to bet on the, on the over because I think they're going to gel, but they still have to gel, right? So with that said, we're going to go through the schedule. We're going to look at each game and quickly talk about each game and maybe what Howard needs to do or does he have the advantage or the disadvantage against the, the defense and against the opposing quarterback. Now, if things gel for Howard and for Chip Kelly in that offense, it's going to be a really tough offense. And we put out a film breakdown over that offense uh, like maybe last week about Howard and, and Chip Kelly and what we could potentially expect from the offense with, of course, Ryan Day's kind of influence and hand on that, right? So uh, if, if you're interested in that, go back and check out that that video. So we're going to get into the schedule, but before we do, if this is your first time tuning in to the channel, we sincerely thank you. We're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things quarterbacks, and while this is more – you know, breaking down the the win totals, there's still like an influence of the quarterback position here. So if you like quarterback niche type stuff, please consider subscribing and following us along. We put out quarterback content on a regular basis. All right, so let's look let's look at the schedule. Start off with that with Akron and Western Michigan, both at home. Boom, win win. Shouldn't be too too challenging, right? Then you have an off uh, an off week, you have bye week. Then you go to then you have Marshall. Again, first three games. First four weeks, you're at, you're at home against these game, against the smaller the smaller opponents, and you have an off off week. Then you go away to Michigan State. It's kind of your first real test. I love their new coach. I love their young quarterback, Aiden Childs. I think they're going to be really good, but I think they're a year away. Uh, I, I still don't think they're going to be able to compete against Ohio State, but still, it's going to be their first big test. Then you have Iowa at home. Still sh- should should be a win. Challenging defense, but should be a win. Then you have Oregon away. That's your first like coin flipping game. I think Oregon's a ten and a half. Uh, I think their win total is at ten and a half as well. That's going to be a coin flippy game. Yes, I know a new quarterback being broken in, Dylan, Dylan Gabriel, but I still think that's a coin flippy game at Oregon. We're going to come back to it. We're going to come back to it. We're just hitting the schedule. Then after Oregon, you have off right. So you go. You had Michigan. I'm sorry. You had Marshall, Michigan State, Iowa, Oregon. Then you're off. After that, you have Nebraska. At home, and while I think Nebraska is going to be better than people think, uh, still Dylan Rayola's first year as a starting quarterback. If he's a starter, that's only going to be there what maybe six ish game or so. So he's getting into a rhythm of things, but you still take Ohio State at home. That's 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 the, that, that they're their favorite. Then you have Penn State away. Penn State, I think is going to be better. I, I really like Aller. I think he's taken that. I think he has the ability. I think he can take the next step. You're still going to be favored at home. Uh, I'm sorry, you're, you're, you're still going to be favored away, I think, against Penn State. But I don't think it's as coin flippy. I mean, I don't, I don't think it's as uh, for sure Ohio State's winning that game. I think it's still coin flippy. I really do. Then you have Purdue, home. That's a win. Northwestern, away. Win. Indiana, home. Win. Michigan, home. Always coin flippy, even though the, the, the odds are right now kind of stacking against Michigan with new quarterback, new coaching staff, a lot of changes going on. That game is still coin flippy. Ohio State fans, Michigan fans, they, they all know – even if Michigan is bad, that game is still a coin flippy. Even when Ohio State is bad, if they're – I can't remember when they've been bad, but even when they're bad, that game is still a coin flippy against Michigan, regardless how good the better opponent is, right? So let's go back and look at that – look at these schedules. Like, like, where do the challenges lie? Like, like, what are the biggest challenges? Well, I think it's I think it's obvious. I think basically you have three – you have three big games that you have to either go three and zero against or two and one against for this over to hit, right? And all comes down to Michigan, Oregon, and Penn State. You have some slip up games. You have some games that you have to be on for that that you can definitely slip up. But I think that it all comes down to those three games. Can you go three and zero or two and one? If you if you can, you don't slip up against any other team, then you'll hit you'll hit the over. Now now Penn State and Oregon are away. 
So that makes it challenging, right? But here's what I like about the schedule, and here's where I want to talk about Will Howard. I think Will Howard and Chip Kelly are going to have some time to gel. They're going to have some games to get ready before they face their tougher teams. I think the schedule lines up really nicely for Will Howard, where even if you have a, a, an off game against Western Michigan, unless disaster happens, you're still going to win that game. And so I think the schedule sets up nicely to put them into the toughest part of their schedule. So the way, the, the way I kind of look at it is there are basically three practice games for Will Howard and Chip Kelly's offense to to, to gel. And of course, Ryan Day is, is, is the main guy over it, right? I get it. But there's three games, three practice games for Will Howard to get his feet wet, to get comfortable with the offense, to get comfortable with, with the, the right call, the right read, who to throw to. You have three games, right, you, with, with Akron, Western Michigan, and, and Marshall. That's with three games to get going. Then after that, it starts getting a little more and more Challenging because then you go to Michigan State away. That's uh, it, again that should be a win. You should you you should be a, a decent size to heavy favorite, but still a step up in challenge, right? You go from Akron, Western Michigan, Marshall to Michigan State away, so it's a step up, but it's not like a hostile. You're not going to Penn State as your first away game, right? You're going to Michigan State. After Michigan State, then you go to Iowa. Or I'm sorry, then you you have Iowa at home. So then you go back home. Defense is probably better than Michigan State's, right? Uh, offensively, it's a whole different thing. But the Iowa defense, you know, is always tough. And you, but you have them at home, so their 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 toughest defensive opponent uh, to this day is Iowa, and it's at home. So you go from Michigan State away to Iowa at home. It gets a little tougher, and then you go to Oregon away. And I think that's going to come down to more of the defense. I still lean Ohio State here. Again, it's way, way too early to be like picking and, and, and betting on this, these right now unless you feel really comfortable about it. But you're going to Oregon away. That's your toughest game, potentially on the schedule, depending how you view Penn State. But you have like five lead-up games. You have three scrimmages and two kind of, I say scrimmage, right? It's not a real scrimmage, I know. Uh, but you have three of those scrimmage games and you have two better teams coming in. And then the, by game six, Hopefully, Will Howard and Chip Kelly are in a good position to go out and beat Oregon. If you beat Oregon away, then I feel pretty good about I feel pretty, pretty good about Ohio State at least splitting Penn State away and Michigan at home as long as they don't slip up. Right? If you lose to Oregon away, then some pressure gets put on. Then you have to win out. So that, that's where I think the the season lies, and with those three games, but I, I like the the lead up to those games. I think I think. Uh, Chip Kelly and Will Howard and, and Ryan Day and the whole offense in general, but you know specifically we're talking quarterbacks, specifically Will Howard. I think he has time to get settled, and if he's not settled in by then, then, then who knows? But it, uh, I would imagine that he is with the weapons run, right? So again, y- you start off with those five games, build up, build up, build up, then Oregon away, right? So with that said, I think that's the pathway to to get the win total or to hit the win total. If you beat Oregon, then you have to split with Penn State or, or Michigan, and you just can't have any slip-ups, right? You have to win at least two games against Michigan, Penn State, and Oregon and avoid any slip-ups. That's your pathway, and Will Howard has kind of an extended runway to get reps and to kind of get things going at the beginning of the season. But Ohio State fans and just quarterback fans, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the, the win total? Do you lean over? Do you lean under? What's the pathway? What, what's your thoughts on the pathway for the over or maybe the pathway on the under? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, we're just a big quarterback hub. If you like quarterback type niche content, please consider subscribing and following the, the channel. We try to put out quarterback content on a regular basis. So like, share, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Peace.